Hello everybody, this is Joe the Maniac. It's time for the Maniac to react. <laughs> So today we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to look at a TV show which has recently aired on Nickelodeon. This is the second episode that I'm looking at from the new TV show, Pig, Goat, Banana, Cricket. That's literally the show's title, so you pretty much get an idea for what the characters are. A pig, a goat, a banana, a cricket. One of those things doesn't seem like it fits the others. Hint, it's the banana. But we'll get more into some of those character details in a little bit. As far as the episode itself, I did not watch the first one, and I just jumped right into the second one because I just saw it on television, and I was like, oh look, Nickelodeon's putting on a new show. I might try it out, just to just to see what'll happen. And you can see more about that in the link in the description. It's a private link that you can check out a behind the scenes of um, my sister and I, we were just watching TV, and we thought like, we'd check it out. So, basically the plot of this is that each person has their own plot. I mean, they meet up in the beginning, and they kind of exchange some conversation with each other, but very briefly, and then they kind of just go off and do their own things, and sometimes they'll interwine uh, with each other's plots. But for the most part, they're doing their own things, and they're mostly different from each other. So, let's see, where do we start? Well, the pig, I remember, the, it was probably the most memorable out of them. Um, the pig went to a fridge, and he's like, oh, I'm hungry, so let me go grab a pickle. Because he just wants to eat a pickle. I'm not going to blame him for that. Uh, he goes in. There's like no pickles. And then he sees that there's a note um, like next to him on the counter or something about like, I ate the last pickle, signed pig. How does he not remember this note? I have no idea. I mean, it seems like that kind of note like, oh, remember to go and get some more pickles. But I don't know. He just didn't seem to remember it. Um, or ever writing it. Maybe someone else <laughs> ate it and... And, and, and put that as if, you know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really know. So anyways, uh, this pig goes to the store, which is a pickle store. It is like an emporium for pickles. Everything in there has a pickle theme to it. There, there's even like a small train that runs through that has pickles as like every object on the train. The train itself is made as a pickle. So yeah. They're crazy about pickles, apparently, in this world. And, uh, apparently it's a hot commodity. So, uh, this pig tries to climb up a tower, which is full of pickles. By the way, these are not jarred. No jarred pickles in here. So I don't know how fresh they're gonna stay. Um, he climbs up this mountain full of pickles to get to one on the top, and then jump back down or something. As he's jumping back down, he see he... Like, somehow, there's a connection that's made between a shopping cart with a dog face on it, and they kind of just kind of meet in midair, or maybe he catches him or something, and I don't know. They seem to have a little bit of a bonding moment while shopping. So, uh, the pig is trying to leave the store, and the shopping cart dog has to stay. So, you know, this, this shopping cart dog is a sentient being, apparently, and is able to think and feel, and doesn't want to leave the pig. So, uh, they take, the, the pig takes the shopping cart, they go up a mountain, and then they ride down the mountain and, and go off a ramp or something like that. Um, I, by the way, I wanted to preface this by saying that I am completely sober. I have not done anything. This is exactly how I watch the show. Just, just to give you a heads up on that. So, we go on and basically... The shopping cart is quote-unquote stolen or missing, I don't know. Um, and then there's, like, this manager of the store, who is a dog, but in a person, like, you know, moves like a person kind of thing. Most of these characters move like people, except for the shopping cart dog. I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, he sends out a security guard or something, who is also a dog, and they go after the pig. Now, there was another person in the store, I think there was at least two other people in the store that weren't dogs, just to say it's not like a dog business. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I want to address that now. Why are there three things in this plot so far that have dog faces, that can be sentient dog beings, one of them is a shopping cart? Why? Why? Why that, why, why that one? Is there, like, some dogs can be shopping carts and they're just born that way? 
and some dogs are just born to be people like I, I I don't know it doesn't really explain it obviously because it's a cartoon you don't have to explain half of what's going on in there um as far as the other three plots I don't really remember much from them I remember that the critic the cricket went like in and out of different tunnels he was trying to gather materials he's kind of like a scientist he's he's got like this little underground layer and he's and by the way this cricket isn't like really tiny like Jiminy Cricket he is the same size as everything else in the world so like next to the pig that's the cricket size. Maybe a little bit taller, in fact, which is, of course, ill-proportional. Um, and then, yeah, basically, he's going around, he's trying to get these these items to make, like, a, a beauty product, but it doesn't really work so well, and I'm not really sure what else to say for that. <laughs> the goat, I don't remember it having much of a plot, I just remember it from the beginning, and don't really remember much else after that. And what was the other one? The banana. Yeah, the banana can also be a sentient being. It's not just like, I'm sitting on the floor, I'm a banana, and I can talk and, and see and things. No, this one has arms and legs. The banana has arms and legs. Pickles are just food. But the banana is a person. The shopping cart is not a person. Or maybe it is, but it just has wheels. I... It's really, like, mashing a whole bunch of ideas together. There's no real consistency between, like, what can or cannot be a sentient being since they cross the borders in what looks similar. Uh, anyways, the banana. He's a cop or a detective or something. He had, like, a badge and a hat and seemed to be, like, very authoritative. Um... I don't remember much of a story with him. I just remember him, like, walking around, again, between other character scenes... I honestly didn't watch the entire thing. I only watched, like, maybe, like, six minutes of it for the half-hour time slot that it had with commercials. Um, just because I couldn't really grasp it. I couldn't really follow it all the way through. It didn't seem to make sense as it went on. The writing for it, I think, was a little bit on the edgy side. I mean, not really edgy like bad, but edgy like you're trying really hard to make a joke and it's not, it's not happening. A lot of times they would have filler jokes in there where it's just like, um, you know, they would have some kind of, you know, some sentence that will have the word poop or fart in there just as a quick, like, <laughs> he said poop, who <laughs> said fart. And and then maybe following up with a fart sound, not really shown to be by anyone, it's just kind of like a random fart sound effect. Um, and, and again, it doesn't really add anything, it doesn't really pertain to what's going on in the scenario. And in my opinion, I, I'm really not going to think this, this show will last long. Honestly, um, I guess I could talk about it more at a later time. But in my opinion, modern TV shows for Nickelodeon like this usually flop. Um, I, I'll probably talk about it more in another video. But uh, there was also the artistic style seemed kind of interesting. At first... For some reason, I think it was like mainly with like the eye size or or the style of the eyes, maybe a little bit of how the, how they looked. That I thought it reminded it kind of reminded me of a better show back in the early two thousands, uh, My Life as a Teenage Robot, which I I thought was a great show. Um, but I have to say I'm sorry that I associated with that because it doesn't look like it. When you really watch it for a long period of time instead of just seeing like the the picture of it on uh, like when you when you see like the episode picture, it really doesn't feel like that. Like it's it's not it's not like solid lines and rigid things for 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 developing the characters. I mean, there's still like a definite shape, but it seems more garbagey. It seems like they're really using odd colors that are in there. It's it's something I wouldn't really expect from Nickelodeon as far as, like, something that would be of high quality or... I mean, maybe they're going with an interesting artistic style, but in my opinion, this isn't really working for me. But again, I'm an adult watching this, which is developed for kids. Kids may think of it a completely different way, as well as I think about other shows now on Nickelodeon. But anyways... That's what I think about the show. I don't really think it's going to last for a long time, even when my sister and I were watching it. And she's she's not a, she's not like a kid kid, so, you know, things really didn't click with her either. Uh, again, you can watch the video in the description below. It's a little behind the scenes, because I just did it very informally, just to, like, record the, um, the thoughts that we had. 
So I do apologize for the actual quality of it. Maybe I'll amp it up a little bit later and put it up as a regular video. But hope you guys enjoyed this sort of review, this this episode two review of goat, a pig, goat, banana, cricket, which I think is odd, not appealing, unfunny, and all over the place. Uh, just one last note I want to make. It's okay for the characters to be in multiple plots at the same time. I mean, you have a show like Seinfeld, which had, you know, the main four characters had different character traits from each other, had some things in common, so it made sense for them to be together, and they had their own plots going on in the same episode, sometimes with a theme to it, usually with a theme... But it's all done expressively. It's done in a bunch of different ways per character. There, you don't see the plots really connecting to each other as being like the same, the same subplot. So it it, it actually made it more enjoyable to watch because you still get the idea of it in different perspectives. With this show, they don't quite do it that way, and I couldn't really follow up with it. So again, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I carried on a little long for this, but I just wanted to get out as many thoughts as possible on this show from what I've seen so far. We'll see you next time with more videos.